Yes, got him. Right at me feet. Oh, it's a big one. This is him. This is him. This is him. We just saw him in the way. This is a cracker. What an insane session. <laughs> Have a go, man. G'day ladies and gents and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. You're joining me on a beautiful afternoon on the world's largest sand island. Of course, I'm talking about Fraser Island. Now what's the first thing you think of when someone says Fraser Island? Generally, it's tailor fishing. But today, I'm not chasing tailor. No siree, I'm doing something completely different. I want to catch dart consistently on lures. The guys at Wilson have just released the new Mizashi jig. These guys here, and they've got a 15 and 20 gram model that look absolutely perfect for the job. Now being a casting jig, you should be able to cast it a long way. You should have a nice little erratic action in the water. Now I've got the 15 grammer rigged up. The white color there looks like a little white bait. Now if that doesn't have dart written all over it, I don't know what does. Anyway, we've got a cracking gutter in front of us here. Lovely afternoon. I reckon we give it a red hot nudge. Worse comes worse. We're going to get bitten off by a tailor. We'll catch one and uh, have a good bit of fun on the light tackle. Well, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoy this episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button and say good day in the comments. I'm going to get casting and see what we can turn up. Right, so what I'm what I'm trying to hit is this back foam line. We've got a deep little gutter section in front of us. So I'm only using light gear, which I'll run through at the end of the video, but I want to get right out into that foam. Now I know the audio is going to be a bit rough with the surf, but it'll be worth it, I promise. And then just little, little G, oh, there we go, fish on. Straight away. Straight away. Now these dart, they just think this is a little white bait. And I've been trying for years to find something that'll, uh, that'll entice them. I've tried little soft plastics and they work on occasions. But these little jigs seem to be working a treat. Now you do have to go fairly light because there are only small hooks. Oh look at him go! He's playing up. Playing up like a second hand lawnmower. We'll use this wave here. Everyone knows dart, they fight like demons. We might even see him in the wave here. This is like the ideal spot. I wouldn't be surprised if a tailor comes through here on dusk either. Wash him up with this wave. Let's get a look at him. It's another nicey. They just never give up these dart. Sorry, not the greatest way to hold them. I'm going to sacrifice my fingers here. Now these guys have spines right under my finger and right where that finger is there too. And they will not hesitate in using them on you. So I like to grab them over the head like this and that kind of keeps your hands clear. That guy hooked right in the nose, right in the snoz. That's a belter. Oh, easy there fella. He can come home with us. In the back. See if we can go two from two here. I'm getting wet because I want every inch out of this cast. Oh. Righto. Here we go. Jig, jig, jig fish on. <laughs> they are literally just sitting in that foam, something fierce. And every time I just let that jig sit, sink down just a little bit, give it a few flicks, and they just climb all over it. This guy doesn't feel too big. They come in all sizes, the dart. They all fight. Oh, he's, not, he's not huge. But I'll tell you what, 
This is really, really good fun. Good fun for the kids too, because they're not lugging big pilchards out. Oh, look at the edge of that gutter there. That's beautiful. There's going to be a tailor on in here later on. There's a cool little dart. Seems to be a hot little board at the moment. Almost a Fisher cast. 15 gram Mizashi. Smashing them. Actually going to keep a feed. So this guy, he can come with us. Quick rinse. In the bag, and we go again. Well, so far, I haven't missed yet. Have not missed. It's been cast for cast. I reckon I'm getting this 15 gram, or at least 50 meters anyway. Right up. It's in the zone. I hope I didn't just jink on oh, that. Nah. Oh, good dart. Yeah, that's a goodie. That's a goodie. That's got head shake. Sooner or later, I'm going to get snipped off by a tailor. I've just come to come to uh, accept that. But for now, this feels like a good dart. He's just slugging it. Either that or I've hooked him in the side. No, I, I think this is a goodie. Hope so. I can feel the head shakes. Dart. They have a good old head shake. He's, he's dragging me down the gutter. Oh, please be a big one. Once a dart gets over 40 centimetres, then you know you're alive. And on a lure, even better. No, this is a good one. This is a good one. He's, he's taking line. This is a good one. Come on, stay in please, hooks. Stay in please, hooks. Soft hands, guys, soft hands. Use the waves. Here we go, here we go. Come on. We want to get a look at this. Oh, it's a good dart. Just saw him in the wave there. He's a nice dart. Come on. Gonna need a wave to skate him up the beach though. I think this one. It's a good dart. We want this one. Yes. Yes. That's another belter. Ah. Oh no, don't put water on my camera please. I'm probably going to get spiked doing this. But, here's another nice solid dart. Oh, spikes, spikes. That guy fought really, really well. But that's a good fish. And uh, Another good one for the table as well. A lot of people don't rate dart as an eating fish, but bled and filled it up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. A few breadcrumbs, and they are, I reckon, probably better than Taylor Fresh. I always like to brain spike mine and then bleed them straight away. That guy's 36, oh 37, oh 36 and a half centimetres. So that's a good dart. I'm really hoping I can get one over 40 to show you though. That'd be really cool. Alrighty, I'm getting pushed out of this gutter here. Oh, risk it for the biscuit. Righto, here we go. Oh, straight on, straight away, on the drop, on the drop. On the drop. Oh! He got a bit of toe. So what I did there is I hardly even retrieved. I just left it there because there's enough water movement that you don't really even need to retrieve it. They're just coming through and cleaning it straight up. Now this guy hasn't played up yet. I'm not sure if he knows if he's hooked or what because he had a little run at the start. Might even be fouled, is he? Or he's about to explode. I don't know. It feels like a bit of weight there. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, this is a good fish. He's taken line. I'm waiting for one of these to be a tailor, to be honest. Here we go. Wash him up. 
All right, let's have a look at him. Oh, he's a good fish. Well, I think there is a bit of hook in the back action as well, but I think he's still a goodie. Here he is. Yeah, that's still a nicey. That's the old bridle rig dart treatment. It's not the recommended way to catch them. Oh, come on, mate. Still a fair bit of fight in him, too. There we go. Got a hold of him. That guy, not as impressed as the last one. He fought hard, though, going sideways. Obviously swiped at it, hooked him in the top of the head. Anything over 35, you get a bit of decent meat off. Smaller than that, they are a bit, uh, are a bit small. That's all right, 35's a good fish. 40's better, and he's out there. I can feel it in me nuggets. This is where the phantom tool comes in handy. On the waiting bag, don't have to go back and get a knife. Bleed your fish, back in the waiting bag. And if you didn't have a camera here, you'd be back fishing in no time. In terms of times of the day, obviously, your dawn and dusk are gonna be perfect for your dart. But they also bite during the day. You find a decent gutter with a good bit of white water, those dart will happily bite, which is why they're a good fun fish to target with the family because the kids can have a crack, they fight hard. And uh, yeah, when you find them, you really find them. Although, I might have just missed out here. I've just missed out. We've got a run in tide and uh, I'm getting a bit pummeled, but that's all right, this is good fun. <laughs> Righto, here we go. We can't go to a fisher cast to nothing. Oh, there we go. We're back. Oh, that's another good one. We love, we've still got him? Yeah, we still got him. He's charging us. <laughs> This might be a good one. He's taking a fair bit of line. The size is getting better. Obviously, we're fishing real light drags. Those hooks are tiny, dart of a soft mouth. When you're bait fishing them, you, they kind of just scoff it down and it's all, all fun and games. But this, you've only got three little, uh, three, a little treble with three little hook points and that little tiny assist. And they're obviously not gonna scoff it. So you just want to play them nice and easy. Enjoy the fight. Oh, it's a belter. This is a real good dart, real good dart. Real good dart. Come on, come on. This wave. No, stay in hooks. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> now that's a proper dart. That's a real one. Now that one is getting real close to 30 centimeters, I reckon. Uh, 40 centimeters, sorry. We're gonna put him on the measure. That is a belter. He fought like it too. Fought like a bit of a demon. He scoffed the back treble. <clears throat> the rule is coming out. Woo! Oh, 39 and a half. 39 and a half. We're getting close. It's gonna happen. That guy hit it real hard. Absolutely scoffed it. Starting to put together a really nice feed of dart here. Uh, obviously, I'll show you how to fill these up as well because there's a bit of an art to it. They're quite thin, but very, very tasty. Let's get back out there. Right, we're coming up to dusk now, so every chance we're gonna get bitten off by a tailor but also should be pretty hot if those dart are still around. I don't know where that cast went. If they're still around, they should be chewing. No good. Oh, oh, there was one chasing it. Maybe there is, is some fish in here. Nah. 
chuck it along, see what happens here. I just had one boil right at me feet. Oh, yep. Oh, I missed him. Or have I got him? Oh, I got him. Ha! <laughs> They're in the shallow section. Or at least this one is. I think this is only a tacker. Yeah, this guy's got to be a tacker. He's just coming straight in, unless he's going to take off on me. Whoa! That was close. He spat it back at me. You're good to see that in slow motion. Yes, got him right at me feet. I think I'm casting over him here. There's this real narrow little gutter. I think you guys might be just be able to see this section of calm water. But I'm trying to go out to the horizon there right at me feet. I don't think this guy's real big, but I said that last time and then he played up. Ah. Yeah, he's, oh, he's going to be a measurer. He scoffed the old, uh, just watch the uh, trebles flinging around too, guys. Don't want you to get a treble in you. Oh, this guy's going to be touch and go. Touch and go. I reckon he's going to be 33, which is uh, 31. He's out of here. See you, Mr. Dart. Well, guys, that sun has just about gone over the horizon. I'm gonna have a couple more casts, but it's been a bit quiet, so I'm not. I'm wondering whether the tailor have moved in or there's a shark in the gutter, who knows? But what an insane session. Now, I'm gonna go home, and uh, tomorrow we're gonna fill it up these dart. Obviously, you run through all the tackle used, but how fun was that? In terms of light tackle beach spinning, doesn't get much better in my books. Gonna have a couple more casts, and then we're gonna head home. How good, I'm stoked. What a session. Pull this way. Oh, what? Yeah, we got him. That's fish. Is this him? He's taking a bit of line. It's gonna go light. Look at that! This can be our, if we get him in, he can be our finish off fish. Oh, he's running me down the beach. Ah, oh, he's a good one, he's a good one. This is a good, good dart. He's taking more line than all the rest of them. Just try and keep that braid out of the shore dump. Put unnecessary pressure on. Oh, this guy's still going. Oh, we're gonna game a bit here. Oh, it's a big one. This is him. This is him. This is him. I just saw him in the way. This is a cracker. Wash this guy up. Come on. Please stay in hooks. Please stay in hooks. Please stay in hooks. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. There he is. Oh, he's not that big. He's not that big. I got excited. Oh, no. He is that big. Not a bad way to finish off the session. Sorry I'm holding him like this. I don't want to get a hook in me now. But uh, that's not the 40, but he's a high 30s. That's a nice start. He scoffed it. He scoffed the, uh, the assist up the top and the little treble stung him as well. That is a great way to finish off the session. Oh no, I've got the camera pole. That is a cracking fish to finish on. You bloody beauty. <laughs> well, couldn't help myself thought 
I want to show you guys a 40. I'll come back out in the morning, have a crack. That's second cast. I haven't put him on the measure yet. I think it'll be high 30s. I don't think it's a 40 just yet. Beautiful morning, same gutter. Oh. Let's grab these hooks out so they don't end up in me. Phantom tool. Catch you later. And he can join the dart feed. Got an absolutely pearl of morning out here today. Light westerly. Perfect morning to do a bit of dart jigging, I reckon. Out in that foam line. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. I didn't have the cameras on for that first fish, but it ate it just here in the shore dump. I was actually winding in, I was spinning. It ate it on the spin. It is pre-dawn. Probably a little bit harder for him to see this small lure in all the all the white water. But I'm sure they'll be able to sniff it out. There we go. Got him. Got him. That was quite a fair way in. It's like they're sitting just on the back of this break here. Oh. Oh. Just loosen off that drag a bit. This guy's taking a bit of line. You tell me this isn't fun. This guy's solid. Still going. Still going. Running me down the gutter. Could this be him? The naughty 40. He's over in the shore dump over here. Surf him up. He's coming now. This guy took a sack of line. I'm keen to see him. Here he comes, this wave. Oh, it's another good fish. Another good fish. He's not a 40, though. He's not a 40, but he's high 30s. Look at that, sunrise dart, you beauty. That guy, pinned on the top assist hook, another good quality fish. Went like an absolute shower of proverbial, and uh, that's number two for the morning. They don't seem to be as thick. It could be because of low light, I'm finding it a little bit harder to pick up the smaller lure. But I'll tell you what, when they're hitting it, absolutely cracking it. No, it's just boom, from jig to on in uh, one foul swoop. Oh, there we go. There he is. There he is. They might be in that white water. I was chucking a bit to the left. There's a big foam pit over the end there. They might be sitting in that. It doesn't get too much more scenic than this, does it? Where is he? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, come on. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, come here, fella. They've all been studs this morning. Have a go at that guy. That's a, that's a solid one. Now that 
is a solid, solid Fraser Island dart. Big, deep thing. He went pretty hard. He's a good fish. He's going to go on the measure because that's getting up there. That's a big one. Just being very careful. I don't end up with a hook in me. He's obviously had a swipe at the top, got the treble. I'll put that stinger in there. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's 39 and a half or 40. It's over that line there. It's on to this bit. I reckon this is our 40. Well guys, two sessions of absolute madness. I've had a ball. Have a go at this. What a haul. Not a bait in sight. Little Mizashi jig, 15 gram, light spin rod, and a hell of a lot of fun in a surf gutter. I'll definitely be doing more of this. Absolutely epic. Check out these fish. That's the big boy there, 40 centimetres. Smallest one we kept was 36 centimetres, and I actually weighed the 40 centimetre, went 430 grams, so that's a good dart by anyone's standards. Now one thing I hear a lot is that dart aren't good eating, and that is absolute bull Dart are great eating, they're better than Taylor in my opinion. You just gotta know how to fillet them, and I think that's where a lot of this stems from. People who don't know how to fillet them, they do a hack job, end up with hardly any meat, and they just say they suck and not worth the effort. These guys are fantastic on the plate. So I'm gonna show you how to fillet them up now. Righto, now dart, obviously being a thin fish, there's not a great deal of mass to them, so I like to eat the skin. The skin is perfectly fine eating, but it does mean you gotta scale them. These scales, they've got small little scales, you just got to make sure, give them a bit of, bit of a scrape and they'll come off. They're not as easy to, um, to scale as a tailor or something like that, but they come straight off. Good scaler and uh, you're away. Now, despite how leathery their skin sounds, while you're filleting and scaling them, when you do uh, give it a cook, it's not tough at all. It's, um, it breaks down really nicely, so leave the skin on and uh, you'll be laughing. Now when it comes to filleting, I just attack as I would any other fish. Cut down there, cut along, through. All the way through to the backbone, flip them over. Run it along the spine. Nice wide knife like this makes the job a lot easier. Come through. Now we get our filleting knife. Peel up. Oh, got a rib cage here. You can either leave the ribs in, or we'll do ribs out in this next one. There you go, you don't really save a great deal of meat by leaving that rib section in, but it's a little bit. Now obviously they've got pin bones, so we take the pin bones out. And that's two beautiful boneless pieces of dart. Lovely eating. Beautiful fresh, and they freeze great as well. Now darts also really good sashimi, so if you're into that, perfect candidate for a bit of fresh sashimi, bit of soy sauce, delicious. Righto guys, I'm gonna hop into the rest of these dart, get them done, and get them into the fridge ASAP, keep them nice and cool. I'll chat to you at the Tackle Talk table. Well guys, back home, and what an awesome trip. 
But in saying that, I don't reckon I've ever had a bad trip to Fraser Island. It's a very, very special place. Now, let's talk about some tackle. Obviously, the star of the show, and I've said it a few times throughout the video, these little Mizashi jigs, the 15 gram, the white, is what did all the damage for me, except for a couple of sessions when the wind was blowing, and I changed to a 20 gram and still caught some nice fish on that. So I think 15 and 20 would be perfect. 20, you can obviously cast a little bit further, and if the uh, water's a bit more turbulent, the 20 is going to hold in a bit better. Now, I used the white, and I didn't change because it was working, and I never lost my lure. But there's also a couple of other cool colors, like this little pilchard color that I think would, uh, would be very effective as well. My theory is those dart are chasing little white bait, little tiny pilchards. So anything that fits that profile with a bit of flash, that bit of sparkle off the assist hook, ow, sticky, uh, I think will be well and truly snavelled by most dart. Now, if you're looking for them in the shops, that is the packaging. Obviously, I've taken that lure out. Mizashi jig by Mustard works a treat. Now, rigging-wise, I had mine set up on some 12-pound leader and five pound braid. Now keep in mind, if a tailor comes through with 12 pound leader, it's a fair chance you're gonna lose that lure, but I was willing to take the risk and I got lucky. Now that five pound braid allows for nice long casts and also helps to keep your line out of the wave so you've got constant contact with your lure. Now rod and reel, I used a 3000 ATC Virtuous and the rod is an eight foot six bone hardcore rod. Now that is rated 0.6, to 1.5 PE and a cast rating of five to 28 grams. So super, super light and really good fun when one of those big darts take off. Um, that's really easy to use, cast a long way, nice and light in the hand for plenty of jigging, absolute pleasure. And I, uh, I can't wait to get back out there and give it another go because I'm addicted. Guys, if you'd like to check out any of this gear that I used in today's episode, head over to wilsonfishing.com, they've got all this tackle and plenty more to get you out there and into a few fish. Now guys, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by heading to my website and grabbing yourself some merch, www.sammyhitskyfishing.com. We've got the phantom tools that you saw me use extensively in this video. If you'd like a more in-depth view of how they work, you can check it out on the website. We've got the D-hookers, they are back in stock after a brief hiatus. We've got some new hats like the five panel and these guys here, we've got shirts, we've got stickers, all sorts of gear. Head over there and check it out. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. Hope it's inspired you to get out on the beach and do a bit of shore jigging. It certainly is a ton of fun. Hope you're catching a few fish and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers, guys.